The Vatican's Pontifical Academy for Life says a recent decision by the Italian government regarding abortion is against the law. Last week, Health Minister Roberto Speranza ruled women can have access to an abortion drug on an outpatient basis. Previously, it was only used after they had been admitted to a hospital. Speranza calls the decision a step forward and says it is based on science. Earlier today, I spoke with the former director of the Pontifical Academy for Life. Joining us now from Rome is Father George Woodall, former secretary at the Pontifical Academy for Life and a professor of moral theology. Father, welcome to the show. So tell us, why does the Pontifical Academy for Life Thanks. say these changes are against Italy's abortion law? They, they do this because, obviously speaking in an Italian context, the, these changes which allow abortion by pharmaceutical abortion up to nine weeks uh, and in an outpatient or uh, day hospital situation, uh, goes against one of the one of the clauses in the 1978 abortion law in Italy, which says that it would ensure that women would be provided with proper counselling and uh, facilities for people for people to give be given a chance to reflect on what it is they're thinking of doing, and so that other options instead of abortion could be presented to them. And obviously, so that innocent human life might be spared and saved. Uh, the Academy, quite rightly, says that this aspect of the abortion law has never been adequately uh, attended to in, uh, in, in Italy. And this new situation obviously makes it much more unlikely that women will be provided with, the, with any proper counselling and that proper alternatives to abortion would be effectively presented to them. Father, is there any chance that this decision could be overturned? Well, it, I suppose it's unlikely in the climate of the Western world at the moment. But the, the one of the aspects of the new law is it, that it extends pharmaceutical abortion from seven to nine weeks. So there is no doubt that it will mean that women in that bracket will be exposed to much greater dangers uh, it, it, as the pregnancy advances. The Academy has quite rightly asked that this new aspect be very closely monitored. If, as a result of that monitoring, it were to emerge that women are in fact exposed to even greater dangers, then I suspect that parliamentarians or ministers of the government could be uh, persuaded to rethink this issue certainly it needs to be rethought and indeed uh, this whole uh, abortion law needs to be radically revised so that unborn life is not taken in this way. Well, Father, we have just about a minute left. Um, wondering though how the pro-life movement is doing overall in Italy. The pro-life movement in Italy is very active. Uh, not only their, their pro-life day where they have marches for life, um, but there are various centers in many dioceses which are pro-life. For example, in the diocese where I live, just outside of Rome, there is a pro-life center which provides exactly this kind of counseling for women in difficulties, people who have become pregnant, and where they might possibly be thinking of abortion, it provides them with very real practical alternatives so that the problems they have can be addressed and so that the life that they are carrying within them can be protected and saved and never be subjected to this murderous onslaught. Well, Father, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.